Welcome back to the first trade. Uh, it's an up and down week for the airline sector. After being slammed by the fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic, airlines are rolling out new sanitation and distancing practices to make sure customers feel safe at airports and on board. Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan joins us now with the details. Alexis. Hi, Brian. Yes. So United Airlines, Mike Urbeck, he's a vice president at Newark Airport. He gave Yahoo Finance an exclusive tour to show really how the company is handling that entire passenger experience for a COVID-19 world, something that the airlines know is really critical to assure passengers that they can get on board and fly and share cabin space without getting sick. So here's what he had to say about the changes that customers are going to notice the next time they go to fly. First off, there's a lot less customers at the airport right now. That's the first thing they're going to notice. It's just not the same volume of people. But with that, we also have all the, cel the social distancing placards that are kind of out there and the extra cleaning, you know, uh, document or uh, extra cleaning type signs up there basically explaining what we're disinfecting and where we're cleaning. And you'll have a lot more, uh, you'll be a very, very noticeable level of cleaning going on. You'll see a lot of people wiping down machines and that type of thing. Uh, but then we've also added just so many other aspects of the business to make sure that uh, you're safe at the end of the day. We put the sneeze guards in. We've actually enhanced the United app, which I'm always promoting, it is a, allows you to do touchless check-in and get your bag tags, which is a really cool thing in, in itself. Uh, and we've changed the boarding process so that we can promote social distancing when you're getting on the aircraft from back to front now. Um, we've actually... Uh, when we get to a 70% uh, load, we actually contact you and say, hey, if you don't feel comfortable with it being this full, you can always change your flight to another flight that might be less full at that point. Hey, Alexis, um, I know that you also had some news about regarding Boeing and them getting certification for the 737 MAX. What are the details there? Yeah, Alexis, so some mixed news today on Boeing. On one hand, yesterday, a Bloomberg report came out saying that Boeing was getting closer to that test flight with uh, regulators that we've all been waiting for. They say that that date could be as soon as late June, though in talking with Boeing, they will not confirm that date. They always say that that is up to the regulators, that's up to the FAA, that is not our purview. Now, Boeing did tell me that the software issue, that MCAS issue, is essentially done. And at this point, it really amounts to just paperwork that needs to be satisfied, um, done to the satisfaction of the FAA. Um, also, Boeing said that a wiring bundle that they had been dealing with and trying to get a fix for has been approved by the FAA. Bloomberg had said that some of the airlines were starting to get um, some information about how to make that actual fix. Also, key issue pilot training that has been a really controversial issue throughout the grounding of the 737 MAX. Uh, Boeing has said that they have uh, draft materials that they have prepared, but those two, uh, they will go to the airlines to share um, what Bo Boeing is pro uh, proposing to the airlines there, but that needs to be approved by regulators in the FAA as well. One more thing is the fuel tank issue, uh, kind of this laundry basket of things that Boeing has to address. Fuel, uh, foreign debris had been found in some of the fuel tanks. Boeing tells me that they have also sent instructions to the airlines that have already had those aircraft delivered as to how to address that problem. So maybe we're getting closer, Alexis, but uh, I like to say, you know, if I had a dollar for every time we thought that there was going to be uh, some approval action here, you know, I would be much more wealthy today. So I'm going to hold it and wait. Um, also, uh, the other side, uh, the less positive news, uh, Barron's is reporting that one of the key suppliers for Boeing that makes the majority of its fuselage for the 737 MAX um, Spirit Aerosystems, they are said, uh, Barron's is reporting that they were told to halt work on uh, MAX related work that they're doing. So if that's the case, uh, if, if they are halting some of that production, that would be a sticking point for sure and slow down uh, at least the production of the MAX, maybe not the regulatory process itself. All right, Alexis Keenan, good to see you. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.